Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing one of the most popular VPNs out there, NordVPN, and seeing how it holds up in 2024. Now, I've reviewed a lot of VPNs through the course of this channel, but this one really stood out to me because it offered so much value, be it in speed, streaming, privacy, or even torrenting capabilities, at such a reasonable price. Granted, it also had a couple of hiccups here and there, like not being that suitable to use in China, and some of its features not working properly on Apple devices, but we'll go over all that as I'll be breaking down both the good and the bad to help you see whether or not this VPN is the right pick for you. Also, if at any moment in this video you'd like to check out NordVPN for yourself, you'll find all the useful links, including a special discount code in the description down below, so make sure to check that out. All right, now let's kick this off by talking about one of the best aspects of NordVPN, it's speed. But before we get into that, it's important to note that no matter what VPN you use, you will experience a drop in speed due to the encryption process. However, how much the speed drops is what differentiates good VPNs from bad ones. So generally speaking, any drops between 10 to 25% are considered phenomenal and anything going from 15 to 30 and even 40 is still considered good, but you never want to go over 40% because then you'll be just sacrificing almost half your speed, which is definitely not worth it. So how does Nord fare in all this? Well, during my tests, I've consistently had a 10 to 25% drop with the latter being me connecting to faraway servers to sort of limit test its capabilities. In fact, there were even times where I'd hit a mere 8% drop in speed while using its fastest performing protocol, Nordlynx, which is something I've yet to see any other VPN achieve, at least according to my test results. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about its streaming and torrenting capabilities. When it comes to streaming, Nord is actually one of the very few VPNs that would allow you to access almost all streaming services, you know, like Disney, Hulu, HBO Max, BBC iPlayer, consistently without issues. And trust me, I tried to break it, but I just couldn't get it to slip up no matter how many servers I connect to. And thanks to the little to no speed drop we mentioned earlier, if your base internet speed allows it, you can watch shows in 4K with no buffering or issues whatsoever. And since Nord has over 6,400 servers in 111 countries, you'll get the chance to access content pretty much anywhere you want. So in my case, I was able to watch shows from over 20 Netflix libraries, including countries like Japan and the US. And as of recently, Nord has added an Indian server to their list, so you can now access streaming services like Disney Hotstar and Z5, if you'd like. Now, as far as torrenting goes, NordVPN not only allows you to torrent freely with no bandwidth limitations or throttling, but it even gives you a bunch of tools to make your life much, much easier. For example, Nord offers different types of specialty servers, and of those types, peer-to-peer -peer servers are specifically optimized for torrenting. I and mean, granted, all their servers can do pretty much the same thing, so it's just a little bonus if you want some more security while torrenting. Another type of these specialty servers would be multi-hop servers, so they're also known as double VPN, and what this does is basically that it routes your internet through two VPN servers instead of one for double the security, get it? Nord also has a kill switch that would sever your internet connection immediately should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server for whatever reason. So this not only helps in preventing any of your data being leaked to your ISP or anyone else prying on your data, but it also helps you access the internet freely with no restrictions if you live in a censorship heavy country. Keep in mind that if you're using a device that runs iOS or Mac platforms, the kill switch will be permanently on by default and there's no way to disable it if you feel the need to. Despite Nord being a fantastic VPN to use in censorship heavy countries, it also might not be the best choice if you're using it specifically in China. That's because Nord's obfuscated servers will just get blocked over time because of the great firewall of China, which is a system that not only increases censorship, but also that uses advanced filtering technology that can look for and block VPN traffic. So in that case, you will need to download another version of Nord's application, which is available on their website. And even then, Nord will notify you that this may be a hit or miss because they're still facing some issues trying to make it work in that country. So if you want a VPN to specifically use in China, Nord may not be the best choice here. Okay, so another one of these features that has helped me a lot personally would be the split tunneling feature. And what this essentially does is that it allows you to choose which apps get routed through the VPN tunnel and which ones don't. For example, I could be playing League of Legends 
connections on my normal internet connection, but have my torrenting software running by itself on NordVPN. But keep in mind that this feature, it's not available on Apple devices, again, and that's due to their restrictive nature of their operating system. So as far as I know, there aren't any premium services that offer this feature for Apple devices. So I can give Nord kind of a pass here. Now, when it comes to gaming, there are a lot of times where I've actually used Nord to get an even better ping than my base ping. And the process is really simple. All I needed to do was look up where my league server was located and connect to a VPN server close to that gaming server. So this would usually reduce my ping from 80 milliseconds to 60 milliseconds around there and made my gaming experience way better. And if you want to test this out for yourself and see what works best for you, just use it with the Nordlings protocol so you'll get the best results possible. All right, let's talk a little bit about Nord's privacy policy. You see, even if a VPN has all these features, it still wouldn't matter if it didn't value and protect your data. So in Nord's case, they've implemented a strict no logs policy, as in they do not record one bit of any user's data. They've even switched to RAM only servers as well, which can't store any data. And whatever is left on these servers is wiped out completely with every system reboot. Now you're probably wondering, can't anyone just claim they don't log any data? Well, yeah, it's true. Many VPNs out there say that, but they can't actually back up their claims. Nord is different, however, to prove their commitment to their policies. Nord has gone through several audits by reputable independent companies like Deloitte and PwC, which came back with overwhelmingly positive results. And the cherry on top is that Nord is based in Panama. Panama is a privacy friendly country outside the Eyes Alliance, which is a group of countries that extract and share user data. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, Nord offers a lot of value for a very reasonable price. And I believe it's the best option out there if you really want your money to go far. And that's because on top of everything that we've talked about so far, Nord still offers offers a bunch of extra features that are pretty neat and useful to have. For example, you have the threat protection feature, which will protect you while you browse the web and it scans files you download to detect and eliminate threats before they can damage your device. So if you're looking for a VPN that's as easy to use as possible and is incredibly reliable for streaming and torrenting and for privacy, Express is personally my top choice. Another great feature is the dark web monitor, which will keep an eye on the dark web and alert you if there's any leaked info that's linked to any of your personal information, like your email address or contacts or anything like that. So other than that, I tried my best to find any leaks during my test, but I couldn't find any thanks to their DNS and IP version six leak protection. Another great feature that Nord offers, I know, right, is the ability to customize your own DNS, which is something really rare to see these days, especially packed with all the features I just mentioned. And another feature is the MeshNet feature. So this allows you to share files safely over Nord's encrypted network with whoever you choose. So this comes in handy if you're traveling abroad or going on vacation, but still wanna secure access to your work files over a safe and encrypted network. Moving on to pricing, Nord costs roughly $4 a month for the two year plan. And that's not a lot compared to other VPNs that I've reviewed, taking into consideration the different features that you're gonna get that you're not gonna get with any other VPNs. Now, yes, you can find some of these features in other services, but I have yet to see a VPN that offers all of them in one package. And if you want to give Nord a test drive before you make a commitment, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. Other than that, Nord is compatible with virtually any device and allows up to 10 simultaneous connections, which is more than enough. All right, one last thing I want to talk about before I sum things up is Nord's customer support. So Nord has both 24 seven live chat and email support and their live chat support is among the best. They're helpful and friendly to chat with and really able to help you with everything from simple to technical questions. Okay, so would I recommend NordVPN? Definitely. Now it may not be the perfect VPN to use in China and some of its features are not as impressive on Apple devices, but if you're not living in or traveling to China and you don't use Apple devices, then you're going to be getting the most well-rounded VPN in the industry. On top of their strict you no know, logs policies and having great streaming and torrenting and gaming capabilities, Nord offers a bundle of bonus features that you just don't find anywhere else. And it really makes every single penny you spend worth the investment. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discount possible. Feel free to like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So thanks again again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.